After many weeks of work and discussion, the House Privileges and Elections Committee came up with a congressional redistricting plan. And as anticipated, Congressman Poff has now ended up in the 9th District. Here's how Delegate M. Carwell Butler of Roanoke described the effects on the 6th District. Well, of course, at this stage of the game, the Privileges and Elections Commission Committee has made a recommendation to the membership of the House of Delegates. Uh, what uh, the committee has recommended by a vote of 12 to 3 is a pretty compact 6th district. Uh, we unfortunately lose Montgomery, Radford, and Bedford. Uh, this uh, makes necessary uh, finding additional population in other areas. The choice was to go to the east, uh, toward uh, Albemarle and Charlottesville, or to the north, up the valley, uh, toward Augusta. Uh, and it, it was up the valley that the committee chose to go, and I think this was proper under the circumstances. Uh, we helped add Augusta County, Rockbridge County, Buena Vista, Lexington, and these will um, have much in common with the Roanoke and the rest of the 6th District. And overall, I think is a, this recommendation is a compact district and comes very close to meeting the constitutional requirements. Senator Garland Gray of Waverly says that he has a plan that he will offer in the Senate P&E Committee that will run the 6th District from Roanoke County to Shenandoah County in the northern part of the state. He also says that he has the support to get his bill out of the committee. John Gilbert, WSLS, Television News.